All right, so we're going to continue here with combinations of functions, only uh, this time there are a couple changes. One, we're being given graphical information, and you'll notice here that we have uh, on the left, we have a, a, a piecewise linear graph here that that's f of x, and over here we have a piecewise linear graph that's g of x. These two, they go, they go together, okay? And down here we're given, we're asked, what is f plus g not of x, but of 3. And so this is actually asking for a numerical answer instead of a, instead of a function, okay? And so uh, in order to identify f plus g of 3, basically this is going to just simply be f of 3 plus g of 3. And we already know this because in the previous um, lesson when we learned how to add two functions, you know, f plus g of x, is f of x plus g of x. So now we just need to identify, well, what is f of 3 and what's g of 3? Well, we can go to the graph here. So here's f of x. And if we go to x, x3 and input of 3, we go up. And here we go. And we go over. And so f of 3 is equal to 2. OK, so this is 2 plus. And now what's g of 3? Well, if we go to the input of 3, and we'll go up here. And there is 3. We'll go over, and it looks like g of 3 is 4. And so really, f plus g of 3 is just simply 2 plus 4, which is 6. Okay? All right. So now let's try... Uh, whoops, wrong one. There we go. Uh, now let's try uh, the f minus g. Okay? And f minus g of 5 here... Uh, so we're going to try to identify f of 5 minus g of 5, okay? And so f of 5, uh, here's the f graph, here's 5, and we're going to go up. Here's f of 5, and we're going to go over, and it looks like it equals 2 again. Okay. So we have 2 minus. Now g of 5, so we'll go to 5 here, and we'll go up. And it looks like g of 5 is 3. And so 2 minus 3, and that's going to equal negative 1. Okay, and so f minus g of 5 is equal to negative 1. Uh, all right, now let's try our f times g here. Okay. Oops, excuse me. f times g of 1 is going to be f of 1 times g of 1. So we need to find out what is f of 1. So we'll go over here to f, and we'll go to 1, and we'll go up here, and it looks like it's 4. So it's 4 times g of 1. So we'll go to the g graph. Here's 1, and it goes up right about here, and we'll go over, and it looks like it's 3. So this is 4 times 3. And so f of g of 1 is going to be 4 times 3, which is 12, okay? And lastly, we will now look at f uh, over g, okay? f over g of 4 is just simply going to be f of 4 divided by g of 4. So let's go find out what f of 4 is. Uh, so here's 4. We're going to go up here. It looks like f of 4 is 2. And g of 4, we'll go to g of 4 here, and it looks like that is also 2. And so it's 2 over 2. So that's 1. And so f of g of 4 is equal to 1. Okay. And so that's all we're really doing here is for each one of these is you're going to separate it out into separate uh, functions and in the addition you'll you'll add them and then separate them out and in the subtraction you'll subtract them and in the multiplication separate them out and multiply their answers and then the same thing with division okay and so that's it for um, for doing combinations of functions with addition subtraction multiplication and division when you're given graphical information and you're uh, given an input as a number instead of just uh, general x.